What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hi gorgeous girls, I'm Ingrid and I'm going to show you today how to achieve this beautiful stunning look. It's going to be a very easy tutorial so keep on watching. Let's make those eyeshadows pop and last all day long with the NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base. Apply this all over your eyelid and it will make your eyeshadows last without creasing. MAC Coppering is a gorgeous eyeshadow. I really would love you to give this eyeshadow a try. If you've got green eyes it will really make them pop. I am applying it all over my eyelid with this flat shader brush. I'm also going to apply it along the lower lash line. Don't worry, it does look a little redden now, but you'll see the finished look. I'm taking MAC Carbon, which is a black eyeshadow, and I'm going to be applying it on the outer third of the eyelid to darken it. This is not the, my favourite black eyeshadow, it's not really very pigmented, but it will do because I'm trying to stick to MAC eyeshadow today. It's really important to take a clean blending brush and to blend all the rough edges and also to blend the eyeshadows together so that it looks beautiful. This is MAC Shroom which is a beautiful shimmering beige and I'm going to apply this in the inner third of the eyelid. It's very important to blend the colours together. I'm also taking the same eyeshadow and I'm going to highlight my brow bone just to make it a little bit special. This is the Marc Jacobs Magic Marker which is his eyeliner and I really, really love this. I really think it's important to line your eyes when you wear reddish eyeshadows like this one because otherwise it can make your eye look a little bit as if you're ill but if you separate it like this with a black line it will just look more beautiful. Now I'm going to use Charlotte Tilbury's Bedroom Black, which is a beautiful black pencil liner. It's really, really creamy. And I'm going to line the waterline with it. And after that, with the brush, I'm going to smudge it out slightly. Sorry guys, I'm using Benefit Roller Lash Mascara yet again, but it's just the mascara that I'm using lately because it just gives you long, curly lashes. That's the reason. This is NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. I place a very small amount and I like to blend it well with my fingertip. Today I've chosen Benefit Browsings because the eye look is quite strong so I also want bold brows to go with the whole look. My foundation for today is the gorgeous Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I have left the foundation for last because I thought there might be some fallout with the very bright colours. I've chosen the very well-known Laguna Bronzer by NARS and I'm going to apply it in a figure of three, basically to warm up my face a little. I've chosen NARS Deep Throat from all this lovely palette of blushes. It's an absolutely gorgeous blush, it's one of my favourite ones. It's a peach blush with a little bit of golden and pink shimmer. I think it's really flattering on a lot of skin tones. And finally, this is MAC Hue, which is a glazed lipstick and it's a nude. I've decided to use a nude today because I really want to keep all the focus on the eyes. So this is a beautiful pinky nude. And here is the finished look. As you can see, you don't need to fear copper eyeshadows and they're just so, so beautiful for green eyes. I really hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please press thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and don't forget that you can subscribe to my channel. You can click here now if you want to watch my previous video. And here's all my social media. Come and visit me.